Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Ranch. My name is Whiskey and this is a quick tutorial how to set up your Prism Live Studio for, for the best quality stream for your current hardware and as well for recordings as well. Please bear in mind this isn't the ultimate guide but I try to narrow down as much as information for about a broad spectrum of systems, internet speeds and as well for um, your screen. So, I mean, your screen does play a, a big um, factor of your quality of output as well. Your How much is your um, output um, bandwidth and as well, what kind of hardware do you have inside your computer? So let's start off the baseline. What system am I running with? So currently, if we're going to Task Manager, my GPU would be an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. Uh, CPU will be a 12th Gen i7. And then also my memory will be 32 gigs of DDR5 running at 5200 megabits. My internet speed is 29 megabytes download and 29 megabytes upload. That will translate the upload to 29,000 kilobits, if it makes sense. We'll, this will make um, sense a little bit later why I'm saying this. So if you can see my internet speed is this. Um, now we're going to our NVIDIA panel as well. My screen resolution is running at native at 20. Uh, oh, sorry, 1080p native resolution at 165 hertz. This is where you check it in your NVIDIA control. This is what my desktop is preset to 1080p at 165 hertz. Okay, so now having down the settings, this will give us a baseline of what my system is doing. The same has to go to you as well when you go into your system. If you're running anything above a 9 series CPU paired up with anything between a 2060 Super and above, you will be able to run more or less the same settings that I'm running now. If you're running anything below a 2060, let's say until a 980 series with um, up to a 7th, the Gen i7, then, well, we're going to have, we will discuss some other settings. Then we come down to the most important one is your upload speed should be the same what you set into um, Prism Live Studio, about 50% of what you have, um, well, what your, your internet provider is giving you. So let's say I'm having, let's say I've got 30 megabytes per, per second, I will be able to put up um, 15,000 kilobits per second. Um, for, for my streams. But obviously there are parameters that will um, stop me for able to put out 15,000 kilobits per second. So I'll be using the maximum output settings for Twitch and there will be 6,000. But we'll, we'll dive into the settings now in a second and, and draw a little bit more information so you guys can follow what I'm saying in, in a second. So let's click on either the gear, which is right in the corner where my face is, or we'll go to the three stripes here in the corner Drop down the box, go to settings. We'll open up my settings tab. We're going to pass the general veteran. General is, is a different uh, video, a different time for the settings right there because it's not completely, uh, yeah, it's not really co uh, applicable for, for this tutorial. So let's go to the output first because we are discussing streaming at the moment. We are going to select the advanced tab right here. So output mode, we're going to go and select output advanced. And it's going to give me a little bit more information. Right, so first of all, we select the encoder as NVIDIA's NVENC H264 uh, encoding. That is the mo is, is a quite of a bit, a bit of an older NVIDIA encoder, but it's currently the most stable one. The newest one, the 265, is very good, but it works per very good with 40 series GPUs. Because I'm using a 30 series card i don't really want to go into this to the 265 encoders so i stick with the one that actually works and is the most stable it is 264 
if you have a 40 series card you can still use a 264 and i actually would like to recommend that all right output resolution scale i will not tick the box i'll keep it as what my desktop provides me then bitrate there's two ways of doing this one would be the safe one would be vbr variable uh, variable bit rate um and we're going to put that on 4,000 to 6,000. Reason why is no one's internet is stable always. So if you have a very unstable internet because you're using either Wi-Fi or LTE, that is no cell phone bandwidth, then I would recommend of using this current bit, like a bit rate or VBR like this. Um, but if my internet is using fiber, which is stable, I could recommend going to CBR. And then setting that to the max bit rate, which is 6,000. Right. This is now for my internet running at 30 megabytes upload. For this tutorial, let's say most homes are connected to a 10 megabyte line, which is one to one ratio. So we're going to take 50% of a 10 megabyte line and we're going to scale that down to 5,000 kilobits per second on a constant bit rate. Now, if you are running a 10 megabyte line and you have brothers and sisters on the line and you know everybody's sharing, we're gonna rather connect to a VBR line and we're gonna put it up to 2,800 kilobits per second to 4,100. That is your best settings for your rate control. If you are on a 10 megabyte line and you're in a house where people are users of, of let's say cell phone or whatever and they're not downloading obviously but this will work for you quite safely but we're going to go back to my initial settings cbr we're going to stick it to 6000 because we have the best machine for argument's sake keyframe interval we're going to keep it on two seconds the same way with the other one presets we're going to use it to key seven settings for the best quality tuning high quality multi-pass mode full resolution two passes profile high psycho visual tuning zero for gpu and two uh, b frames max b frames on two and we apply now if we are running a system below a 2060 then the following settings will be applicable 2060 and a 10th gen um, i7 so the next settings will be applicable then for you we're going to put you on slow good quality we're going to go in high we're going to put you on single pass and the same as that this will give you also a very decent looking stream as well recording if you are running anything below a 2060 GPU and a 10th gen i7 or equivalent if you are AMD. All right? AMD obviously has a different encoder there, but it should be more or less the same applicable. All right. So for this argument, we're going to go back and put it on the best settings I can because the tutorial is for, for the best looking stream. Right, now that we are done with the stream, we're going to go to the recording section of our tutorial. First, we're going to keep it as standard type. Change the recording format to MP4. You can change the directory to wherever you want to. I recommend that your directory would be linked to an M.2 um, hard drive or to an SSD, not a physical um so a solid hard drive like a disk drive the, that's not preferably so you want to yeah so i for, for every transfer bit rates you have the that's for obvious reasons okay encoder we're going to use the same one as our streaming nvr h264 nvenc same as our rescaling uh, we're not changing that at all not at all please keep it the same as what your desktop is putting out and then we're going to give it to CBR, 25,000 kilobits per second. Presets, the best quality. This is for recording. This is applicable for, for, for um, 10th gen, 
CPUs and 980 GTX uh, GPUs. This will work for any of those systems and above. Okay? So, 2B frames, this will be perfect. This will hit you the sweet spot of quality for recording. Now we're going to video output. Base canvas, we'll see, because my 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 system says it here. I'm 1080p. I'm going to choose it. Output scale, same. I'm not rescaling. I'm keeping the same, right? Then downscaling filter, resolution match, no downscaling required. Please select that. So this will not put strain on your system. And then common FPS will be 60. So it will not force your system to encode at 60 frames per second, but it will give you a parameter from 1 to 60. So anything in between, this will record or encode for you when you do streaming. And then you're going to select apply. And this is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys did find this informative. If you guys have questions or it doesn't work for you in such on your section for Prism Live Studio, please give me a shout on, on the comment section or come and uh, leave me a message on Discord. Um, my, I'll leave some links in the description below. And as well, come and follow me on Twitch. Uh, when I go live, I would love that you guys could see me on Twitch live and give me some grief when I do play my favorite video game, Hunt Showdown. That's why I have a cowboy hat and such. And yes, thank you so much for viewing this video. And I really, truly hope this helps you all. And uh, have a great day. Adios, amigos.